hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel this is me alicia if this is your first time here and if not welcome back all right so guys we are back with another shopping wow curvy that's not gonna be the introduction song i don't know what's gonna be but i feel like this kind of a series needs a song I just don't know what that is we are back with another shopping while curvy and today's retailer i have a love-hate relationship with this retailer i love their clothes so so much they make me feel so so confident about myself and my curves but some of these price points i'm like my god <laughs> so let's get into it Okay, so for those that don't know, Free People is part of the Urban Corporation. They own brands like Anthropology and Urban Outfitters. And you can kind of see as you're walking around in their stores, they're kind of like cousins. Like they kind of favor each other just a little bit, but then they have like their own separate identity. <laughs> to me, that's what they all kind of three remind me of. I think the reason why I gravitate towards Free People the most is because for me, my style is always going to be comfortable, but I'm always going to be chic. And I think that kind of is the epitome of free people or at least some of the pieces that i buy so that's why i gravitate more towards free people rather than anthropology and urban outfitters as far as getting introduced to the brand i actually got introduced to the brand through one of my local department stores here called belk um, belk was one of the places that i went and got a second job right after college in order to pay off debt and all that kind of stuff and while i was there of course i'm going to take advantage of the employee discount <laughs> Um, and so saw the free people brand in there and I just love I love the whimsical pieces I love the boho I think for me I'm like a chic boho type of vibe kind of girl and the whether it's the displays or the clothing it's just one of those brands that I've always gravitated to even now I still will shop at the belt department store rather than we have a local free people store here it's relatively small and most of the pieces there don't really fit the vibe that I'm looking for um so that's why i shop either online or i'll shop in a local um department store here they're also in nordstrom if i'm not mistaken i just really 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 love their pieces so let's do a quick try on well, not a quick let's get into some of the pieces that i gravitate towards and then we'll have a try on on one of these sides shall i don't know where i am in the camera but we'll have a try on on one of these sides okay so this is the try on that i have for you guys i'm just gonna pull the first item this i'll get into what i'm wearing um last because this is also free people but first thing that i have is this midi skirt i actually have a couple of their midi skirts i'll pop up a video where am i in the camera yeah i'll pop up a video here um i actually wore um one of their midi skirts for when i was pregnant I just love the quality of their items. So really quickly, this one that I'm specifically trying on for you guys, I recently just got this. I love that it's heavy enough to feel like it's good material, but it's light enough for me to wear in the summer. And I actually did just recently wear this. Me and some girlfriends went to um, Nashville to a rosé festival. And I paired this with like a cute graphic tee. So I love that I was able to give like a little slit action, but then still keep it kind of conservative with it being like as long as it is. I did get this in a medium. And that's another thing that I really love free people is because I feel like for most of their clothes, the sizing accurately reflects the average American woman, right? So when I normally have to get an extra large in some skirts in some places or a 2X um, Zara, um, I like that this accurately reflects. And I think that there is because their material, they're always using like stretchy material or material that kind of conforms to your body. So I did get this one in a medium. I did initially, ooh, I did initially order it in a large and realized it was entirely too big. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I probably could have gotten a small, especially in the waist. I just wasn't sure what that was going to do with the slit, like if it was going to be too like if it was going to be too much around the thigh, so the slit was going to be higher. So I did try on the medium and kept it. I probably could get the waist taken in just a little bit, but I'm going to try to wait until I am at my weight goal. And then we'll talk about um, altering the skirt, but definitely love the skirt. I also love that they have in a, cut, a bunch of other different colors. Um, next up, and this is kind of the same for these two, is that is their short sets or just sets in particular i feel like if anybody does a good matching set it's going to be free people one i love that most of their sets come together 
I, I not hate, I extremely dislike when you go on a website and you go under and it says sets and you have to buy the top and the bottom separately. I get why you have to do that sometimes because like, for example, I'm larger at the bottom than I am up top, but I wish that for some of them, they would just come together. <laughs> And so I love that for the majority of Free People's matching sets, they actually come together. Case in point, this um, short set that I just got, I did get this in a large and I get most of the shorts in a large because I want them to hit, not necessarily the waist, but I want them to hit in the length that I'm comfortable with. And even this set, it's like a pretty, it's like a mix between the linen color and like a pinkish, like a in-between Definitely summer vibes, but I love that even though the shorts aren't at the width that I'm comfortable with, they're like rolled and cuffed. And so what I'm going to do is just going to have my mom uncuff them and kind of sew them together just so that they're a little bit longer. Like I said, I love this set. I just wish that extra, and you'll probably see in the video, that extra, um, what, half an inch that they have rolled up. I wish they unrolled it and kept it unrolled. <laughs> but love, 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 love this set. Um, the other short set, well, not the other, because I have quite a few Free People pieces. I think I just brought up these because I saw that these were, like, readily available to shop. That's the only reason. Don't get it twisted. She she has quite a few Free People pieces. <laughs> um, the other one that I have, and I actually got this at my local Belk store. The other two pieces that I showed, I got physically from um, the Free People store. And what I've noticed, the difference is that the actual free people website is going to have new it's going to be just in all that kind of stuff the belk department store i'm not really sure with nordstrom because i really haven't shopped the nordstrom free people section that much but i know with belk it's not always a new and in season it may be like a season behind um so i did pick up this set from the belk store i did look online and i do have this um set online at free people but they don't have it in this color um but i did pick this up it's like a nice short set i think i've even worn this recently in one of my matching sets videos love this also got this in a large once again for the lead not necessarily the width but because it has this good and my mom will call it quality elastic because apparently some brands don't use quality elastic it's a seamstress in her. I, I, I don't know. Um, it's it's while it might be a little bit too tight or too loose on my waist, it's not evident or falling off. So definitely love this. I really love the length of these shorts. They're they're a really good length. And I love that I've been able to like separate it. So I've worn these shorts separately with like a white tank and an overshirt. I've worn this top separately with like some jeans and some sandals. So they're really good to like make them match. So love those short sets. The set that I'm physically, ha I have on is actually a knit set. It comes with pants, I'll put it on up here. I actually got this set in a medium. I got this set while we were in London and I was in the Free People store, the Free People store. So lovely. And I'm debating if I want to get this set in green. I feel like maybe Alicia two sets is good enough. But the green one, I'll put it up here. It's just so pretty. But yeah, so definitely I got the top and the bottom in a medium. Well, not top and the bottom. It's a set. Well, I think what I love is that it's not mixed. It's not so matchy matchy. So the for instance, the top that I have on, it's a different color than the bottoms. The gray is a different gray, and then they have a different color. So it's not so matchy matchy, but they more they complement. That's what it is. They complement each other and it's not the exact same. It's the first that I have seen with a brand doing a matching set and they're selling the set together to have like this kind a complimentary set instead of it being a monochrome most brands when you're talking about a matching set they're going to do the same top and the same bottom so i love that this kind of more complements each other and not is like so matchy matchy the last item that i'm going to show you guys and this is one of the pieces that i have really loved and that is their trousers um i love well with the caveat i love their trousers that have elastic waist in the waistband i have gotten a couple of trousers where they weren't elastic waist and i was just having to decide whether i was going to do a small medium or large and they didn't really work out for me i just i think for me i gravitate more towards anything that has the elastic waist and that's what these have these are a small a small pequeña 
okay i have i wore these pants immediately i wore them immediately i have already shot them with kiosha i've already done a reel i've already done so much stuff with these pants and i have not even had them for an entire month yet they're just so good yes i went back online and got them in a different color because i think i got i got them in like the green it's like a i don't know what they call it it's like a green or olive whatever it's a greenish tone because they're they're just so good they have the cuff at the bottom that my Zara pants have, but these are definitely summer. I have, like I said, I have a couple of different trousers that I do shop at Free People, but I gravitate towards anything that has the elastic waistband. And most of the time for those, I'm a small or medium. I have yet to have to get a large in any of their elastic waistband trousers. Okay, so now that you guys know my love of Free People, these are just some things that I avoid um one jeans i don't buy any of my jeans from there i have tried i think i have tried three or four different pair of jeans and they don't have a curvy collection and so even if i have gotten like a 32 or a 33 they just don't hit me in the places that i would like for them to hit which makes sense they don't have a curvy collection most of their jeans are very straight up and down um so i like i said i've tried didn't work out like well for my life also i feel like for the price of the jeans that they have i can get a better quality jean from somewhere else that literally spec like is specializes in jeans american eagle abercrombie and fitch those places specializes in jeans not only that they have a curvy girl collection so i feel for this for a cheap a better price point i can get my jeans from somewhere else also, I gravitate away from their mini dresses because they are mini. <laughs> um, and while I uh, love my hips and I embrace my hips and my thighs and all the things, um, me and mini dresses don't necessarily get along because while the front might be okay, when you talk about the back and you have to make room for the hips and the thighs and the butt, that mini dress becomes very, very, very short. And their mini dresses are already short already. like. They're already short. So when you're talking about a short dress and then you have hips and thighs on top of another short, it's just, it's a lot. So I avoid any mini dresses from them. For me, it's a midi. I don't even think I've gotten a maxi dress from them. I normally just love their midi dresses. Same thing for the skirts. I gravitate away from any kind of mini skirts. I'm, I'm a good midi, midi, M-I-D-I, not M-I-N-I, midi skirt. And I love a good maxi skirt from them. Um, so I avoid anything mini, I avoid jeans. Also, I avoid, not really avoid, but I have a certain price point that I shop at for free people. Because if you've been online at free people, some, some of the things can get, you know, a little expensive. I'm talking about four to $500 for a matching set. Well, I think the quality might be good, right? I just think that they have some other matching sets that really fit my style, that really fit my price point, that really fit my comfort level as far as like what I want to wear and then my comfort level in terms of budget. So I really stick to the under $150 for most of anything that I'm going to buy on Free People. $150 is normally my max for anything, um, especially any of the matching sets. So I kind of stick to and stick into that. One other thing that I have recently started to avoid, it ain't got nothing to do with them. It is strictly the thieves, aka the sisters in my house. <laughs> and that is their graphic tees. I love their graphic tees. They, I feel like you get their graphic tee and it's immediately soft. I'm talking about like butter soft. However, their graphic tees, because it is free people, they're gonna run you between 40 to $55. My sisters don't know that. They don't know that this random t-shirt that they pulled out of my closet because they want to be comfortable while they're at my house and they take it back with them and do everything else in the house with it. They don't know that a t-shirt costs $50. They think that it's some random $10 t-shirt that I got from Walmart or Target. And I am over having unannounced conversations or like arguing with myself in the mirror like Alicia stop buying them because your sisters are going to steal them and they don't know what they're stealing and they're going to get them dirty and then you're going to get mad and get pissed off all over again and they don't know why you're pissed off because they just see it's graphic tea but in your head you know how much you paid for that graphic tea so I've recently stopped buying graphic tees from free people it hurts my heart and maybe later on in life when my sisters aren't thieves <laughs> that I could start back um, ordering my teas from them because I love them. I, 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 
I love a good graphic tee combination. I love a I love a graphic tee jean combination. I love a graphic tee. You can knot it with palazzo pants. I, I love a good tee situation. But for right now, my graphic tees are having to be purchased from Walmart and Target. And that's where I am in life right now. My budget's excited about it. But I shed a tear every time I scroll the website and realize I can't buy it. All right, so guys, that is the end of this Shopping While Curvy series. Really quickly, the next uh, Shopping While Curvy series is going to be called Micah's. I've never shopped there before, but I've had so many of you guys ask me about it before. I have downloaded the app. I have my items in the cart. I'm probably going to check out today or tomorrow. So that will be the next Shopping While Curvy series. And it's great because it's one of those that we both get to shop it together. So I can let you know what worked for me, what didn't. I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything. I said I was going to buy a skirt, a dress, a pair of pants. I'm probably not going to buy jeans, um, a blouse, a graphic tee. So I'm trying to do a little bit of everything just to kind of see what the quality of their items hit for so be on the lookout for that next shopping while curvy series is that it i'll also link my makeup look i did just do a reel on this so i will link that of course you guys know all of the jewelry is always going to be from shoplivingfearless.com my hair details is just an old wash and go i'm trying to think about what else i can link i'll make sure to link my rack because you guys love that I'm, I'm trying to get better with linking so if you see something that i have mentioned in the video you do not see oh i completely forgot to mention sunglasses i love shopping my sunglasses from free people because they're relatively inexpensive so i can pay 20 to 30 dollars for a good pair of sunglasses totally unrelated but i'll make sure to put some of my favorites in the links below as i'm talking about it <laughs> um yeah, so if you have reached the end of this video and you have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. While you're here, guys, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and do all the things that the other YouTubers tell you to do. And I'm going to catch you guys Thursday, 7 o'clock. Later.